Okay, today is December 6th. We're at the Lawless Glenwood Police Department. We can see one vehicle running that has dare on the side. Okay. Another one that's not running. Don't see the chief around, probably because he knew we were coming today. Let's see if any doors are hanging open here. Chief around? We're here for my mother's statement. Sounds great. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you guys? Super. Can't complain on a beautiful sunshiny day like today. Yep, yep. Thank you. So, uh, hold on. Is uh, the tape recorder, uh, tape recording of that still around or has that been deleted? No, it's, I gave you a copy of it. Yeah, but I'm saying is the original tape recording still available? Yes. Okay, good. Because I want the chief to make sure he hangs on to that, all right? You yep, got it. And the um, chief was going to write a letter or investigate whether that uh, con had a... Um, the that went out in today's mail. It went out in today's mail. Yep. Okay, thank you. Yep. Of course. Yeah, let's see now. When did I need it? I needed it yesterday. Oh, yeah. So that's what you get when you deal with the lawless Glenwood Police Department. And the vehicle's still running. Of course, we were only in there for not even two minutes. So. They've got a good hour to go yet. Right. Okay, what I'm holding in my hand is the packet we just got from the uh, Lawless Glenwood Police Department. And if you remember, uh, I think it was last Wednesday, uh, it was last Thursday, I think it was. I don't remember, sometime last week after my mother made the statement that uh, we stopped down there and said, you know, we want to make sure we read it real quick afterwards to make sure what she said matched what was on the, on the statement, all right? So anyhow, I said because, uh, you know, what Chief Danter had done in my complaint that I filed back in December 28th, 2010, uh, for one thing, the address was completely wrong, which was on the statement, all right? So today, look what's attached to my mother's statement. It appears to be a copy of the tape recording. See? So obviously Chief Danter must be worried that we're going to go through this with a fine-tooth comb. Alright? So clearly the Glenwood Police Department is worried. Alright? Thank you for your time. Okay, it is uh, December 6th 2011. Uh, we're back for the second trip to the Lawless Glenwood Police Department. We've reviewed the tape voluntary statement of Gerald Marie Nemers, and uh, it's a joke, okay? And here's Chief Danter's rig, so we're going to go talk. I <laughs> got a door open here, huh? <laughs> oh, I talked to the chief. <laughs> Coming a time they don't expect and they show up. I got the door open. Terry, he'll be right off. Sounds great. Watch up a chair. Yep. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. I got that door open too, to see.
How's it going? Good. Well, that's good. Sunshine. Oh, yeah. Chief came out that door. Yes, How's it going, Chief? Yeah, about you. Oh, pretty good. What can we do for you today? How come, how come we got those gals so freaked out about us? They're not freaked out. Oh, yeah. Oh, aren't they? No. Uh, well, how come they dash and hurry up and get... Because, uh, again, because like I've told you guys before, there are certain areas in here that we can't be recording. Well, you had that door open when we came in. We saw that. Okay. This door is open when what, we came what in. What can we do for you today, sir? Well, you know, we stopped down and picked up this voluntary statement of Gail Marie Nemers. And, you know what, you actually had that disc in there to have the audio recording. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we listened to the audio recording. We found all the different places where um, it, the audio recording doesn't match your little stenographer here. Okay. Plus, I think you know that, you know, as you know, licensed as a doctor in two different states, you know, I know what an interview is, and as far as I'm concerned, this is a joke, Chief. See? Well, Terry, I tell you what, <clears throat> if you'd like to talk to me about that, yeah. I'd be more than willing to do that. All you need to do is go outside, put your camera away, we can go back to my office and we can talk about it. Well, I'm talking about right here, see. Here's the statement right here. It says the warrant was signed a couple of days later, and the and the audio says four days later. Again, Terry, I have nothing to do with your complaint with the sheriff's department. Oh, okay, I'm talking about your statement, which you have control I, over. I I'm talking about Terry, your listen, interview. Listen. I provided you with what we have, okay, for your request. I gave you the audio CD. That yeah. way, if you thought there was any discrepancies or whatever, you would have that. Okay? And that, I'm talking have, about the discrepancies the, right now. You have the type statement. Yeah, which okay. doesn't match your audio. Well, they type what they can hear. Oh, well, we listened to it, and we could hear it clear as bell. Again, Terry, I'm not going to have the discussion with you right now. If you wish to go put your camera away, well, you can sit down and talk why, about it. Why don't you want to talk about it on Terry, camera, otherwise Chief? Otherwise, there's nothing to say. Well, I, I understand why you don't want to talk about it, because here it says they, I already told we, you that I would well, they stood outside a quarter of a mile trying to entice him to come Terry, outside. Are you just going to talking the, over me? Or are well, you that's what you're doing to me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. And it says, on the audio, it says, for quite a while. See, what you're trying to do is make my mother seem like a lunatic. No, I'm not. And Terry, I already told you how we're going to do this. If you don't agree with it, I'm sorry. Well. Okay? But if you'd like to talk to me. Then you can go put your camera away. No, Chief, we'll I'm talking then to you right here now. Then we're done. Well, then leave. Walk away. I will. Good. I, I don't see you walking away. Are we done? You say you're done. I'm still talking. I told you that I'd be more than willing to talk to you. Well, I'm talking right now. All you need to do is just walk away as my camera's running. I just want to see your backside when I'm still talking to you about this deal here. See? Because like gonna, I said... You're not going to go put your camera away, Terry? Because like I said, I'm trained as an as okay, a interrogator. Done. Good. Bye, Chief. Day, yep. Because I'm going to keep on saying how this thing is a joke. Because you claim that my mother's reading the thing, but you don't ask her to put it down and put it in her own words. See, that's what kind of statement you got here, Chief. It's a big joke. <laughs> Chief, he didn't like to be on being interviewed, critiquing his little work here. His joke. See. Here it says, some I read and some I didn't. Chief, well then you should have said, well what, what did you read and what didn't you read? What was correct on there and what wasn't correct on there? Some you crawl from? Right. From being there, right? So why don't you go into detail, Chiefy, in what you remember and what you didn't remember? See, instead, Chief, you want to talk about what was on this thing right here. Oh, does it say scandal on the side? Does it say burglary on the side? Does it say kidnapping on the side? Does it say perjury on the side? It doesn't mention this part. Where it says there is no prior warrant by Christopher King, uh, an investigative journalist and former assistant attorney general. See, because this is right off the probable cause statement. That's that's what my mother was reading here. See, so all the chief he had to do was ask her what parts of this is correct and what parts are not correct. See, but chief he didn't want to do that because that would he'd find out actually what happened there, and he didn't want to do that, did you, chiefy? See. That's the reality of it. That's the kind of bullshit you get here at Lawless Glenwood Police Department. Chief, you got worried there.
He didn't like where you were asking about how they're all scared either. Uh, they're not scared. Yeah, bullshit. They're shaking in their shoes. Right. Because Chiefy's got them all panicking mode. Yeah. Oh, you have to have all the doors closed all the time. Right. But when we walked in, right. door was wide open, wasn't it? Right. If she wouldn't have walked out, we could have stood there for a half hour That's listening right. to him. That's right. What a joke. And we're, we're down in Benson today, too. And they had no problem with us filming in the police department, did nope, they? Nope, not a bit. Yep, that's they right. They were just as nice and polite as they could be. Yep, there you go. Okay.